Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com, as well as Real Illusion Forum. Um, I did a tutorial on bringing this fantasy armor in a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago. How long ago was it? A while. Anyway, um, this is just from Daz. This is this, uh, I don't remember what, this, this S S Y M F fantasy armor file. And uh, so somebody was using this and saying they were having trouble with uh, parts of the armor. Specifically, they were having trouble with this pauldron, pauldron, and I think this thing down here, which is a fold. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not an armor guy. All right. Anyway, so uh, part of the problem with armor, and you can uh, go in and make parts of this rigid, but this comes in as clothing. Okay. So it's kind of a compromise in that, um, you know, in real life, armor doesn't really move. I mean, it's, it's rigid. Uh, how they achieve the movement or whatever small, uh, small amount of movement they achieve is done by having the plates overlap. So for example, this plate here, this big plate here is not going to bend. But the guy's got to be able to bend forward, so you can see it's a it's detached from the uh, from the secondary plate. But but when it comes in, is all as one piece. So this uh, this would be difficult to deal with. But that's not the problem he's having to deal with. He's dealing with these pauldrons, and so this one on this side is brought in as a piece of clothing. This one's brought in as an accessory, and I wanted to show you the difference. So when we go in and we go to uh, change the pose to, uh, for example, this pose. You'll see that as an accessory, it, it doesn't bend because it's just attached to the shoulder at that point in time. As a matter of fact, you can always look and see where it's actually... Actually, it's attached to the hip, which is probably not the place you want to attach it to. You probably want to attach it to the shoulder. Uh, and you can do that by um, you know going down here and figuring out where the... Probably the clavicle, you know, something... Let's see, that's the left. So you can attach it to like the left clavicle, that sort of thing. Uh, I think that's correct. I'm trying to look at it, but but anyway, that's that's just the way you you decide where you want to attach it. Attaching to the hip would work until you have to bend the the body forward and then it'll move. So, but this is a piece of clothing you'll notice has bent all the way down. So, obviously that's not good. Now, if you want this to bend a little bit uh, and not too much, then you're going to have to adjust the the bend part of this. You're going to have to go to the to conform part. And with this selected, you're going to go down and you're going to edit the range. And you're going to decide, you know, the elements that you want to have uh, and, and set them to be certain levels. So I guess that's all element. And you can use the brush too, but you can you can change it. So so at 25%, it's it's going to be less bending than, um, than it would be at 100%. So we do that. So it's a little, it's a little more uh, unbending, um, but you can do that. Uh, essentially though, for armor, you're probably going to have to, see, I'm actually not having much luck with this stuff anyway. They've changed the way that this conform thing works. I don't like it anymore. I'm, uh, <laughs> people on the forum say it works the same. It doesn't work the same as it used to. So anyway, but, but as an accessory, it works to a degree. Okay. And, and when I say degree is probably some of this should bend a little bit. Um, but let's see. So let's take a look at this this fouled thing. And again, we can make this an accessory. Problem with an accessory is as you move the legs apart, then this is going to have a problem. So uh, for example, if we if we kick them apart, let's see how far apart we got here. Uh, this is, yeah, this is pretty far apart here. So that actually doesn't look bad to me. I guess he was having problems because he didn't like the way it it bent. Maybe when somebody bent forward, uh, I don't know. Uh, again, it's going to be a compromise behind. If I make this an accessory, then it won't bend, but the leg then can interpenetrate with it. So I'll just show you how to. You know, you can just go to convert to accessory, and you can uh, probably reset the default shape. So you can do that and change it back and forth, and then um, come on. It's thinking. Um, so there, you know, you have that. And as an accessory, again, it's it's not going to move quite the same way because it is an accessory. So if you're standing close together like that, you know, it's, it comes apart like that a little bit. But again, you have to make a decision as to what you're willing to put up with. And uh, like I said, real life armor just doesn't bend. So uh, you'll, you'll have to decide whether it's an accessory 
and doesn't bend at all, or whether it's clothing and then bends somewhat. And in any case, you know, we're just, uh, you know, we're just kind of faking it. Somebody, somebody once said, anyway, that's all 3D is. Or actually, it's even all 2D is. is just faking it, and hopefully the audience doesn't notice how much of a fake it is. And if you bend something and it doesn't look right, you know, you have the character go behind a tree or something. So that's, uh, that's what you have to do sometimes. So hopefully this helps a little bit, and if not, we'll see you around the forums.